Hey everybody, it's Greg Grace. We're here in the Bucket, okay. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And it's a couple days before 4th of July. All is quiet on the Western Front. So I figured let me come to Pawtucket and make videos about tax assessments in East Providence. So that's what we're here doing today. But what I want to talk about today is East Providence tax bills. Okay, year over year, they've increased for me 43%. I did some calculations before the video here, and I have a good amount of property in East Providence, and 43% is a drastic increase. Now, what you're hearing from politicians and local leaders across the state and even across the country is this. We lowered your mill rate this year compared to the prior year. So, for example, in East Providence, the commercial mill rate for 2022 to 2023 assessments was 26.89 per thousand. So that's how you figure out your tax bill. You take your assessed value, which say is 100,000, you move the decimal point over three spaces, so you're at 100, just 100, and you multiply it by the mill rate, say 26.89, and that's what your yearly taxes would be. Now, this year in East Providence, the mill rate has decreased to 23.03 per thousand. So roughly speaking, that's like a, I don't know, 12% decrease in the mill rate. And politicians will run with that. When they go for re-election, when they talk about the progress, they say, we lowered the mill rate, we lowered the mill rate. But what they're not telling you is that the assessments are absolutely ridiculously high. So mill rate goes down, but assessments go way up. Okay, And that's what creates the spike in taxes. So I'm going to give you three properties, just for example, and um, just freestyle here. Okay, the first one is a four-family. It's in Riverside. 2022, the taxes were $5,800.16. This year, I just got the bill. It's $8,067.40. That's a 39% increase year over year. Okay, it's roughly $2,300. Now, I didn't increase my rents by 2300 bucks to compensate for this, but now I'm gonna. What they don't understand about us rental property owners is that technically, I don't care. My taxes are deductible, and the income I use to pay it is from the tenants. So unfortunately, this bill gets passed on to those tenants. What else can I do? It's the cost of doing business. So this gets passed on. It's sad. I didn't plan on raising rents at this property, but now I have to. And the tenants will know that the reason I'm raising your rent is because the city has tied my hands, okay? Property number two, it's a five unit, also in Riverside. 22's taxes were seventy-four seventy and four cents, and this year are now $10,000, $10,000, cents. That's a 35% increase. Again, that's about... 25, 2600 bucks that I now have to go and find from the tenants. Final one is a six family. This one is the craziest. For 22, it was 74.35 and 8 cents. This year's taxes $11,459.72 for a grand total of 54% year over year increase in the taxes. That one's big. That's about 4k that I have to go and source from the tenants now. So overall for me, in these three examples, 43% tax increase. These assessments, okay, for the six family, coming in at 500,000 for the assessment. For the five family, coming in at 438, and for the four family, it's coming in at 350. And as you all know, historically speaking, assessed values are definitely lower than the actual market value. But what these cities and towns are doing is they're capitalizing on the COVID era. Okay, prices went bananas, people paid very high prices, and they're really leaning on those purchases and the sales prices in the areas to justify these tax assessments. I feel like it's been something that towns and cities have neglected over the years by keeping the status quo uh, it was a harder hurdle to jump over because there wasn't such an abrupt rush and change in the market. It's been more gradual over the years. 
But with COVID, the high prices, the high sales, the rush, rush, rush environment gave them a window to get away with something like this. Okay, an evaluation of $500,000 for tax assessment purposes? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And then they'll hide behind the lower mill rate and they'll just bleed you dry. If I was a single family homeowner, maybe even a two family, right? Say I lived there, for example, I can't just source this money. I can't just come up with this money from nowhere. This will add another burden to folks that are trying to live paycheck to paycheck. So it's absolutely crazy. I just wanted to make this video to point it out that this is going on, okay? And Cranston, I just got tax bills from Cranston. Those went up for me like $30. That's beautiful. That's fair. That's good municipal leadership. That's efficiency. That's a budget that's on point. So you can see the difference town to town with how things are treated. West Warwick, tax bill is very high there as well. So it really depends on the municipality that you're in. And you just need to pay attention to this stuff. And if your bills go up, my suggestion is rent should go up. That's how it works. And you can even provide documentation to your tenants. Say, look, here's last year's bill. Here's this year's bill. What do you want me to do? Okay, so once again, Greg Rice, here in the bucket, your property and your taxes managed.